what is the difference between height, altitude and flight level? Whilst flying, you most certainly will have heard an air traffic controller ask you to fly at either height, altitude or flight level, and initially, you might not have given these words another thought, but they actually have very specific meanings, and can help you understand which pressure setting you are expected to be on. In short, an air traffic controller will say height when you are on the QFE, altitude when on Q&H, and flight level when on SAS. We'll go into this in more detail in a second, but if you want to learn more about QFE, Q&H and SAS in the meantime, check out the link I've added in the description below. To give you an example of how air traffic controllers use height, altitude and flight level, we'll start with a scenario where you are on the ground at an aerodrome. You will more than likely depart the aerodrome on QFE, and potentially with some instructions from air traffic control. For example, on departure climb to height 2000 feet QFE 1006. The word height is used because it is expected that you are departing on QFE. Now that you are safely in the air, you instruct air traffic control that you wish to conduct some general handling at 3000 feet on the Q&H. The air traffic controller will reply with something along the lines of, climb to altitude 3000 feet Q&H 1015. Similarly, the word altitude is used because it is expected that you will begin to climb to 3000 feet on the Q&H. Now you've completed your general handling and wish to climb past the transition level to 25,000 feet. The air traffic controller may say something along the lines of, climb flight level 250. There are a few important points to note here. Firstly, you may have noticed that the controller didn't specify a pressure. This is because flight level is only said when using standard altimeter setting, or SAS, which is always an altimeter pressure of 1013. When an air traffic controller instructs you to climb to a flight level, this is also a request to set 1013 on your altimeter. Secondly, you may have noticed that the controller did not say 25,000 feet, and instead said 250. While 25,000 feet is equivalent to flight level 250, as is 16,000 feet and flight level 160, and 7,000 feet being flight level 070. It is said this way to avoid confusion and emphasize the point at which you should change to SAS from QFE or QNH. An additional point is how these numbers are read. When we say flight level 250, each number is said separately, but flight level 300 is read out in full, as is every other 100. Here is an example of changing between the different formats. Flight level 380, flight level 390, flight level 400, flight level 410. Thirdly, you may have noticed the word 2 was omitted. When using flight levels, we do not say climb to flight level. The phraseology must be climb flight level. This is again to distinguish the difference between flight levels and height and altitude. So now let's test your knowledge and bring you back down to land. Let's say you request a descent to 4000 feet and the controller says the following phrase. Which word should go in the blank space? The correct answer is altitude. The controller would say, descend to altitude 4000 feet, Q&H 1015, because you are on the Q&H. The controller is now preparing you for landing and says the following phrase. What word fills the blank? The correct answer is height. The controller would say, descend to height 2000 feet, QFE 1006 because you are on the QFE. Now you understand the differences between height, altitude and flight level, but what's more important is the understanding of QFE, QNH and SAS, because setting the wrong pressure can be potentially life-threatening. If you find altimeter settings confusing, you really need to watch this next video, which explains exactly what you need to know and will make you a much better pilot.